All right, guys. So in this video, you guys are taking a image of someone with glasses, sunglasses on, and you're adding a reflection to each of those. And then we're going to take the entire image and place it on a background. So I have an image of Leonardo DiCaprio here. I have the background of Inception. This is what I'm putting in his left lens, and this is what I'm putting in his right lens. So I'm not going to walk you through again how to do the reflection in the sunglasses since we've already done that. But what I am going to do is I am going to show you real quick on how to make a really good uh, selection if you were having trouble with that last time. You can do the quick selection tool or you can use the lasso tool. So I'm just going to click on my first layer and get my lasso tool active. And then you can really just go through woo, like this. So that's not great. I'm going to go back around and get like a little bit better. Okay, so that's decent. And then what I'm going to go up here to do is I'm going to click Select and Mask. And I'm going to smooth that. I'm actually going to take away a little bit here. Whoopsie. Undo. Let me make my a little bit smaller. And that'll be a pretty decent selection. And then um, you can also do the edge detection a little bit, increase your radius there. And you see how it helps it a whole lot. Okay, so once you do that, you can press OK, and then you just Command J, or you create a blank layer, excuse me, and then we're going to fill that in with a paint bucket. One thing is, whenever you have your paint bucket active, you do want to make sure that you're, um, you have your opacity set to full, and then you just click on it. Well, you're going to be black. Fill it with black. And there you go. So that's what you would do. Um, and to get like a better selection for the sunglasses than you would if you had trouble the first time. So I'm going to delete this layer. What I have already done is I have already created my left lens, um, just to command D, and my right lens reflection here. We've already walked through how to do that. So that has the inner shadow. It has the glare for the sun. It has the roundedness to make it look realistic for glasses. So all of that's done. Now, what we're going to do is we want to put Leo here on a background or whoever you chose to do. Um, but we want to make sure that we have everything in here. So we need to flatten our image. So we're going to go up here to File and Flatten our Image. I can't find it. Doop, doop. Right click. Oh, okay. So select all of your um, layers and then right click and go to flatten image. And what you see is this is now one total image here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick selection of Leo. Oh, should probably make that a lot bigger. Okay, so I'm going to select Leo here. In the picture I chose, my edges are pretty easy to grab, but I am still going to go through and do a refined edge um, because I noticed part of his ears cut off a little bit. So I've made my selection. I'm going to go to Select and Mask again, and I'm just going to increase my radius, smooth a little bit, and we can see where I kind of... Um, We kind of need to fix right there. Okay, we got that one. Got right there. Make sure his ear's good. Okay, so once that happens, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, I'm going to go down here where it says output to, and I'm going to say output to new layer. And what that's going to do is it's going to take what we've just selected and it's going to push it to a new layer automatically for us. Press OK. And you see how that's automatically on the new layer. Now I am just going to get my move tool so I can grab Leo here and I'm going to drag him over to my background and plop him down. Now, one thing that I do need to do, I'm going to resize him. So I'm going to bring him 
let's say 80 percent i'm making sure my aspect ratio is locked yeah i'm gonna bring him down to about 75 percent i'm gonna put him right here and then what i want to do to him is i want to go to a hue saturation level layer to kind of make him look a little bit closer to the background so to do that i'm going to click on your hue uh your this button and i'm going to do hue saturation did i click hue saturation i did all right and so we're just going to turn the saturation down a little bit right click and we're going to go to create clipping mask and so it's only changing him now so you see he's the only one changing but we want to bring him to kind of right there we might want to bring him more towards our yellows yeah so you might, your picture may be different to me i needed to increase my hue a little bit to kind of get him a little bit closer to the same coloring so it's a little bit more realistic and I'm going to turn my saturation down some. All right. So once you have that, do a screenshot of this one. Um, I think that's what I wanted you to do. No, I want a JPEG. So a file JPEG and a, the Photoshop file. So that way I can see what you got. All right. And that's it.